Welcome everyone. In today's video, we will be showing you the 20 locations of the LinkedIn platform scattered throughout the map in Hogwarts Legacy. LinkedIn on the 20 of them will not only give you that sweet XP to reach level 40 and complete your field guide challenge, it will also reward you with house specific Quidditch Captain Cosmetic that will showcase at the end of the video. As usual, all the timestamps are in the description down below to help you track them all. So let's go. The first landing platform we're going to land on is in the North Ford Board region. The closest through flame would be the Peter Pan Ford one. Fast traveling there, you just need to lift up and head south. You will see the platform on top of the cliff. You can easily identify it on that wood tower. Landing on it, you will see the outer rim starting to rotate in place and the fire pits lighting up. You will also unlock the challenge associated to the landing platform. The second platform we're going to travel to is in Oldsmead Valley. It's a bit east of the map near those portrait camps. To get there, we'll take the east north fort board through flame. Making it outside the house, we will lift up and head east until we see the landing platform on one of the cliffs. Landing on it, we will unlock the first challenge reward. And here is where it is a bit more precisely on the map for reference. Looking at the challenge, we can acquire the Quidditch captain's uniform, specific to your house. The second platform in the Hogsmeade Valley region is located for the south, east of the Hogwarts Castle. You will find it near that Merlin Trial, on a southern cliff. To get there, we'll travel to the east Hogsmeade Valley flue flame. Lifting up and heading south, you can see the platform hidden on a cliff. This one not being on a wooden structure is a bit harder to locate, but it should become apparent once you fly over the train track. And here we are on the map, more precisely, just west of that Merlin Trial. In the North Hogwarts region, we'll go to the first landing platform situated at the river, around that marker there, that we will set on the map to guide us. To access it, we'll take the Jadow's Storm through flame. And after lifting up above the trees, we will head south towards our waypoint. Once you pass the forested area, you will see the platform on the cliff edge just before passing the river. On the map, we are located around here, next to that portrait camp. The second one in the North Hogwarts region is located a bit more west near the junction of those two trails. Placing a waypoint there, we will reach it from traveling from the Jardor Storm through Flame. Again, we'll fly up above the tree and head southwest towards our waypoint. Fly towards that rock formation just in front of us, and once we passed it, we should see the platform around the corner, at the foot of the cliff on our right. and we are about there on the map. The only landing platform in the South Hogwarts region is located southeast of the castle, around the edge of that cliff on the map where we put our waypoint. The closest flue flame to get there is the Iron Shire one. From there, we will lift up and head south towards our waypoint, which is nearly spot on for once. You will find the platform just left of the road. And with this, we'll unlock the Quidditch captain's helmet. In Hogwarts Valley, we will find the first landing platform on the western side, in those rooms. To get there, we'll just fly from the Tin Bridge through flame. Lifting up, we will head west, northwest, towards our waypoint and those rooms. Arriving there, you should easily see the platform, 
There are some enemies underground, but they should not bother you if you reach the platform from the air. It will be right there on the map. The second one in Hogwarts Valley is a bit more north, on the edge of that cliff there. From the west Hogwarts Valley flu flame, we will lift up and head north. Growing higher will make it easier to see the platform, as it's laying on the ground on top of one of those cliffs. Looking at the map, we are about over here. The last one in Hogwarts Valley is for the south, around where we put our waypoint. And we we'll start from the mine's high flu flame. Lifting up, we'll head southwest towards our waypoint. And you should see the platform easily, down on the ground, just below the balloons. And we are here on the map for reference. In the Feldcroft region, the first platform is located north of it, around where our waypoint is. We'll take the West Hogwarts Valley through flame to reach it. Lifting up, we'll make a 180 turn and head southwest. If you follow the trail on the minimap and are high enough, you should easily locate the platform on some cliff's edge. And we are here on a map. The second platform will be in some ruins in the middle eastern side of the Feldcroft region. To get there, we'll first go to the Feldcroft Flu Flame. Taking off from there, we'll head east. Reaching the ruins, Head to the ones on the left side of the trail. The platform is actually hidden in those. And on the map, we are over there. The third one in the Feldcroft region isn't far west on the coast. Taking the south Feldcroft flu flame, you just need to head out the house and lift up high. Do a 180 turn to face north and you should easily see the platform on top of some rock formation. With that platform unlocked, we'll get the Quidditch captain's gloves from the field guide challenge. The fourth and last one in the Feldcroft region will be southeast, near those runes on the map. To access them, we'll use the Arendelle flu flame. From there, we'll fly up and head southwest. You should see the platform easily in between those trees, waiting to be landed on. And that's where the map locates us, once on the platform. In the southern part of the map, the first platform is in the Poet Sea region, at the end of the peninsula where we put our waypoint. To go there, we will first travel to the south Poet Sea coast through flame. Lifting up, we will head straight south, toward that rock columns at the end of the balloon set. And on top of it is where the platform sits. The first one in the Maroon Wind Lake region is located east, around that area near that enemy camp. To go there, we'll take the coastal mine flu flame. Lifting up, we'll head south, following the coast. You will find the platform at the foot of the flat pole displaying the four houses color. On the map, you can see we're just off the trail east. The second one in the Mahon Wind Lake region is located on the eastern tower of the bridge crossing over the lake. Between the Mahon Wind Bridge Flu Flame, we will lift up to avoid conflict and access the platform from above. You can easily locate the platform sitting on top of that tower. Going to the Manor Cape region, we'll find the first platform on the western coast. The platform is located at the entry of that treasure vault. So putting your waypoint there will take you directly to it. Taking off from the west Manor Cape through flame, you can lift up and go around the cliff, heading north until you can spot the platform.
The second one in Manor Cape is located south, down the coast around there on the map. Taking off the West Manor Cape roof lane, we will head south this time. You can see the platform in the distance with some balloons floating on top. In the Crag Croft region, we put a waypoint at the end of that peninsula on the map. To get there, we will teleport to the Crag Croft roof lane. Getting out of the house, we'll fly up and head south. You can see the platform on top of that rock tower. The last platform is at the south end of the map, on the foot of that cliff. To get there, we will use the Cladmar Castle roof lane. Be careful flying from that roof lane, as that place is crowded with high-level enemies. Lifting up, we will be flying east and going around and down that protuberant rock in front of us. And with that, we have unlocked the last piece of cosmetic, the Quidditch Captain's Cape. Equipping them, it will give you an old-school Quidditch player look. And the outfit color will also vary depending on your house. I hope that video has been useful. Stay tuned for more guides for Hogwarts Legacy. And until next time, see ya!